It's Mark Gruner here from Greenbridge Consulting, and we have our guest, Joshua Brueger, and he's here to help us talk about setting goals. So, Josh, what would you say are the main aspects to uh, setting a goal and achieving that goal? The number one most important thing about achieving a goal is your attitude. Bottom line, you got you to gotta have that right attitude. Uh, you got to have the right energy to accomplish that goal. I am the energetic coach, Joshua, the energetic coach, Brueger. And uh, it's all about having the right attitude to get in that goal. So when you, what are some components of having the right attitude besides positiveness, can-do can do attitude, I guess? Yeah. What else would yeah. you say? Yeah. Well, you know, like sometimes it's not easy. You wake up, um, you, you don't feel it, the right attitude. Or sometimes let's say you're in the middle of a sales call or you're in the middle of making a bunch of sales calls and you get a bunch of no's. And the problem is how do you turn it around? How do you snap out of it? How do you, how do you go from – hearing no, 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 to change of attitude, I got this sale, I got this next one. And, or it's about maybe you, you, you want to lose another 10 pounds and you sit on the scale and you gain two pounds. It, it, it could hijack the rest of your day. Our attitudes can hijack um, and, and it could turn our whole goal setting and we go in the wrong direction of where we want to go, right? So yeah, attitude is important. And, and changing on the spot's important, right? And it's all about attitude. Um, here's the thing. You might hear no, no, no 500 times. You got to stop, take a deep breath, and think to yourself, the last time you were successful. And think about that time that you were successful and go, remember, bring yourself to that spot. Think about it. If you have a paper and pen, you could journal about it. You could write about it. Um, if you don't, and you all, just think about it for a little bit, take a deep breath and think of that time, the last time you had that great win and bring yourself back to that time, bring your back and think about what was going on that whole time, you know, where you're at, the setting, the environment, what the weather was like, what the energy was like, and think to yourself, I can get back to that again. I did it before, and I've done it before. I can do it again. And, uh. Sometimes that's just a little reflection, the little journaling. It will reshift your thought process, and you can get back to that energy of winning and being successful. And would you say, Josh, like if you write down your goals, that will get you a lot? Is that a positive thing, or how would that work? I always believe in uh, uh, having your goals. All your goals should be written, right? Like a goal needs to be written down. It should have a date when you want it completed by, and you should have a plan on and being intent on how to get to that end goal. Um, and I always recommend uh, journaling towards that goal. And I'm a big, if you, if you understand, I have these books, Energetic Self. Um, also, uh, you know, it, it's about Benjamin Franklin, the founding father. I speak about him a lot. But he asked himself two questions every day. Every morning he would ask himself, what good shall I do this day? And every evening he would journal about what good he did do this day. So I'm a big advocate in writing down what are you going to do towards your, getting your goal uh, every day. I'm a big advocate for that. So I do believe in journaling. I do think that um, when we journal, when we reflect, that is when we learn, right? Everyone's about going to getting their goal. They go action, 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 action. But if you keep moving and you don't reflect, you're not learning anything, right? And so sometimes when we're stuck, when we hit that edge, when we hit that, 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 when we're hitting that spot where we're still stuck, sometimes we have to ask ourselves, why am I doing the same thing over and over again? And maybe I need to reflect and learn and seeing what needs to be done differently to get that different result. Perfect. So we would say, would you say in summary, to achieve your goal, you need to write it down. You got to keep a positive attitude, and you got to reflect on where you're going every now and again. Is that right? And the attitude has to be more than just being positive, right? It's not just about like I'm happy, I'm good, blah blah blah. It's really about um, attitude. Is really about understanding that we're open to learning new ways of doing things because obviously we have a goal to be somewhere. 
we obviously want to be different than we currently are. That means we have to learn something, right? We have to change something. We have to, we have, we have to be open to learning. We have to be open to learning about ourselves and about others and about our beliefs. So um, definitely uh, you have to have the right attitude. But like I said, the attitude is more than just, it's not just like, okay, you just be happy all the time and things are going to happen. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got to be open to learning new, new ways of doing things and being, have an open stance to like learning more about who you are and be, and that's how we learn is by journaling and reflecting. And there's other ways to reflect besides journaling. It's just journaling is my favorite way of reflecting. Okay, very good. Well, thanks a lot, Josh. So you also, very quickly, you have some services on coaching. And I guess I do. some of your services on coaching are geared to uh, achieving results or goals. Yes, so I, I have a couple uh, coaching exercise. I have a couple coaching ways. Some are about personal growth. So whether it's something maybe you want a, a professional growth, uh, maybe a personal growth you want to go through, or maybe a physical growth you want to go on. Yeah, I do coaching on uh, personal growth. I also do coaching for executives. So maybe you're uh, you're in a uh, maybe you're stuck somewhere in a, your organization, and maybe you need to change some culture that's going on. Maybe you need to find new ways of handling older relationships. Uh, that's a, I'm a great person uh, to to bring in uh, and to give uh, give you the support. I'll serve you uh, in getting you past those uh, stuck spots. And you know, and when I say when I say the executive, it doesn't have to just be the CEO, right? A salesperson uh, could be stuck in their business in getting through that, getting through to the next level, right? Um, obviously, a, a manager, a line manager, maybe it's a parent uh, that's stuck somewhere who's helping serving their kids, right? And maybe it's a student stuck somewhere in their educational process trying to get to that next level. Um, you know, people are people, right? And we all do the same things. For, we all do things uh, similarly, right? So, so it doesn't really matter if you're a CEO or if you're a student or if you're a parent or if you're a, a basketball coach or whatever. We all do things. Uh, humans do things very similarly. So, uh, yes, I support people in getting past positions and places when they feel stuck or they're in a they're not they're not they're in a place they want to they want to change they want to adapt. So, yeah. Wow. Well, thanks a lot, Josh, for dropping by. It was great to have you on our show and looking forward to having you again soon. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Mark. Okay. See you, Josh. Thanks, man.